New study released by the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia has some interesting findings in kids who have had COVID. The research shows blood vessel damage in every one of them. New specialist Debbie Worthen joins us live. Debbie, what does that imply? Well, that is part of what researchers are trying to figure out because According to this study, even kids who were asymptomatic or who had extremely mild symptoms, they had the damage due to the COVID and of what's called thrombotic microangiopathy, also referred to as TMA. Now that's a syndrome that involves clotting in the tiny blood vessels. It's important because TMA has been identified as a potential cause for severe manifestations of COVID-19 in adults. Researchers also say that although most children with COVID don't have the severe disease, the study shows other effects of the virus are worthy of investigation. And the study really just further justifies my level of concern that we don't know the true impact of COVID-19 on children yet. And that as the, we see this disease last longer, we're going to be learning more. Well, most children affected by COVID have only mild or minimal symptoms, but a small proportion develops severe disease or what's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. It's MISC. It's a post-viral inflammatory response to COVID. Now here's what's pretty exciting. Primary Children's has just started a five-year longitudinal study to figure out the impacts of how MISC affects kids' hearts and other systems long term. It has been led by cardiologist Nan Trong here in Utah and a doctor at Boston's Children, Children's Hospital. It will involve 29 institutions, the United States and Canada, and ultimately about 600 kids. So exciting research that's just starting and it looks like it will be pretty widespread as far as that scale goes too, guys. Yeah, Debbie, it goes to show how much we really don't know about this virus right now, and it's gonna take years be before we start learning these things. So, great You're report. You're absolutely right. Debbie, thank you.